Hello everybody and welcome to our show. We're streaming live from foggy Florida where it must be about 60 degrees. Tide's gone out. Fishing. Find out. This is my show. Enjoy. Alright. Let's start off with some chum. I'm gonna use uh, some hot dog buns and some crackers. I got some oyster crackers. <laughs> Why not, right? That tide's barely moving, but it's still going out. What I do is I mash that bread up, just rub it all around, mash it up good so it'll sink. Little tiny balls. Scatter it out there on the water. You chum, they will come. Even if it's after you leave, <laughs> they'll come, they'll eat it. the bait of the day I have chicken nuggets no really <laughs> I got some uh, bread that'll be the bait chicken nuggets and bread chumming and hopes that they'll be coming Oh, I see him biting or eating the chum out there. Let's see if I can get one of them. Those look like big bluegills. That's the target species here. We're going to maybe see some catfish too and all, but I definitely see some swirls in the chum line there. Come on, fishies. We'll see what they like. I got the uh, chicken nugget on the top. Red balls on the lower hook. Yeah, liking that chum up on top of the water. Uh oh, there goes bite. Ha, I got him. I got him. Oh yeah. Big, fat. Monster bluegill on the chicken nugget. He ate the top hook. Now that is a monster bluegill. He's about pretty close to 12 inch or every bit of 11 inches. Sweet. I see them all over the top of the water out there. Definitely, folks. You chum, they will come. Oh, here we go. That's a nice bluegill. Quick, too. Pow. Bye-bye, Mr. Fishy. Whoop. He got away without getting off the hook. Now you catch him twice, it's twice as fun. <laughs> twice as fun when you catch him twice. Nice. All right, so chicken nuggets, one, red balls, nothing. 
almost got out some pepperoni, but I kind of like the <laughs> chicken nuggets because I can take a bite too if I want. All right, let's load up again here. Got a chicken nugget. Got a bread ball again on the lower hook. Tell you what, the fried chicken that I use is just kick their butts. <laughs> All other baits, fried chicken, the skins and little pieces of the fat, little chunks of the meat. All right, here we go. Take some to whack that, huh? Toss out some chum. I'll chum with some of this chicken. Just watch for the line to go tight or the pole to double over. They're still popping top of the water. Fried chicken on top hook. Well, it's a chicken nugget. They're, they're Tyson brand chicken nuggets, in case you're wondering. Alright, so I'm gonna mash up some more of these oyster crackers. Mmm, num num num. I can't blame them fish for wanting to eat this stuff, really. They get a little spooky after you catch one of the big ones. You he goes back and he tells them all, don't eat that stuff. It's got a stinger in it and an elevator system. <laughs> it stings you and it takes you all the way up into another world. He tells them all that, you know, but fortunately fish have like really short memory. Well, they all scatter when you catch one of them big ones. He starts motorboating across the top of the water. <laughs> I'm watching for that line to just twitch or start moving in a funny direction. Or just to bend over. Zoom. <laughs> A nice place to live. Step out on your back porch. Oh, there's one. Oh, that's a nice one. Well, he took the chicken nugget. Look at the color on that fish. Wow. Beautiful color. Eyes got red and purple and gold flecks all in it. Chicken nuggets. <laughs> you believe that? Chicken nuggets. I, I, hold still, buddy. Hold still. Come on, come, come, come on. You're gonna hook me, and then I'm gonna get upset. I'll like, cry. All right. That's two on chicken nuggets. Two on chicken nuggets. <laughs> Unreal. <laughs> they like chicken nuggets. What can I say? Yeah, there was a rumor around here that this kid caught a... Uh, I want to say it was a 12 or 14 pound bass couple miles up the river here on a chicken nugget. Kind of lends a little bit of credibility to it, doesn't it? 
to put this on the live stream and kind of hard fake that, you know, unless I got a diver down there in that dirty water. Probably a lot of those professional fishing shows do that, you know, if they were going to try to stream live, you know, so they could say, well, we have to guarantee that we catch something or people will think we're a fool. So they get a diver to go down there, a bunch of fish that they already caught and hook them. <laughs> <laughs> they hook them. <laughs> well, I see them biting out there. They definitely like it. stuff floating up on top of the water. You, you can fool them, though, like that. You know, you can take a, a big piece of bread and, and not mash it too much, you know. Just set your hook in there nicely and toss it out so it doesn't sink. You'll notice I don't ever use a, any weight or a bobber. I just... Leave it really fl freely drift down in the current, which there's not much of right now. That's all right. Well, we got two of them so far in the world's greatest fishing hole, <laughs> my back porch. Again, I just wait for that line to twitch, start to move off, and the rod to bend. I like to see the twitch first, though. You know, it's, I don't want them to swallow the hook. <laughs> Hooks are at a premium. I gotta ride my motor scooter to Walmart. Takes about two hours. Get there and back, what? Maybe 30 minutes to get there. No, 20 minutes. You gotta look at all the stuff. It's hard to leave Walmart, you know. I mean, just get some hooks and leave. They got so much cool, cheap stuff. <laughs> Might have to toss some more chum out there. Oh. Nibble, nibble. Actually, that was a pretty good whack. <laughs> they be fast and I be slow. Oh, 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 there's one. There's that one. That might be catfish. What do we got? Oh no, that's a big bluegill. He took the red ball that time. Nice. 11 inch bluegill. Sweet. Got sea lice. Yuck. Nice. Toby's watching. <laughs> it is the world's greatest fishing hole. Thanks for the cash, Toby. That's righteous of you, man. Oh, let's get this guy back in the water before he perishes. Hey, hey. I don't, don't want to fight until you try to get the hook out of their mouth. Number three, got uh, two on chicken nuggets and one on the bread balls. Here we go. Fresh bread. Actually, it's a hot dog bun, but it's still bread, right?
I like catching those big bluegills. I know they're really good eating. One of these days, you know, meet the right girl and she can come over and cook those bluegills. Mmm. <laughs> I'll clean them if somebody will cook them. I like them fried, deep fried, cutting little finger strips, deep fried, some tartar sauce or ketchup, either one, it don't matter. Or a lemon slice. Yeah. Are you off work today, Toby? What part of Florida you live in? You are in Florida, right? Oh, there's another one. Just like the other one. Oh, that's another colorful one. Chicken nuggets. Three chicken nuggets to one bread ball. Oh, that's a pretty fish. It's not as big as the others. I give it eight inches. Oh, are you kidding me? It ate both of them. <laughs> I swear to God, it ate both the bread ball and the... Oh, man. How often does that happen? It did. It ate both of them. You can see the lines coming out. I got this one and that one. Swallowed them deep. Well, you're a greedy little thing, aren't you? Greedy? <laughs> you greedy. There's one. Oh, it's free. No, 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 no. Hold still, hold still. Hey, hey, calm down. Come on, you're getting blood everywhere. Yuck. I don't know if this one will survive or not. Hey, 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 calm down. Come on. Calm down. Definitely still got a lot of life left in it. Zoom, off it went. Yuck. Slimer. <laughs> I don't know how many that is, four or five. <laughs> but how do you score that when it ate both of them? <laughs> I guess it's one, another one for the bread and another one for the nugget, right? You know, even though it's the same fish, how else can you score it? What a dilemma. Oh, it's getting nice out here. It's warming up. Oh, stinker took one of my hooks. Hmm. Run out of hooks again. So I need to get to Wally World and get a box of a hundred of them or so. No, I like these little gold hooks so much. They're not even much bigger than your thumbnail. I'll tell you what, I've, I've caught 15 pound catfish on these little hooks. Never had one break. Believe me, there's some big catfish in here. You know, they will eat the bread and the chicken nuggets. You bet you they will. Watch my other videos and see. Oops. It's kind of weird. Some days you catch all catfish. Other days you catch bluegills. and Sometimes you just catch a little bit of everything. All right, chicken nugget on top hook. Yeah, I just stick it in through there and it stays on the hook pretty good. I'm surprised how uh, good the bread stays on the hook. But it does, as long as it's pretty fresh bread. Don't try to use stale bread to do this. It 
it's just not going to work unless somebody knows a trick to re-veg it, maybe in the microwave or something, I don't know. I've never had much luck with stale bread except for uh, chumming with it, you know, feed the fish. All right. Top hook, chicken nugget. Bottom hook. Red ball. Whoa, one of them just jumped out of the water. Oh, oh, oh it's that. It's that wounded fish. And the uh, big bass just tried to eat it. <laughs> kind of figured that was going to happen when I noticed it. You know, he had that hook still stuck in his gill down there. I didn't even notice it until he got out there. Sorry, Mr. Fish. It's gonna be bass food or alligator food. Well, he might snap around and start swimming off. Still kicking pretty good. Enough to draw the big fish up to look at him, see if he's edible. I think he was a little too big for that bass that tried to eat him. Uh-oh, is that a bite? Yeah, the little Aberdeen. Aberdeenies. Oh, Mr. Fish. Mr. Fish. That's another advantage of fishing with uh, two baits, you know, because if they do steal one, still have another one. He didn't get it. They're smart, you know, if they feel something strange, they'll spit it. These are big bluegills. They're not stupid. I'm showing you a secret, you know, how to catch trophy bluegills here. <laughs> With bread and chicken nuggets. Chicken sandwich. Oh, something just nailed that bluegill. Go foul. He's gone. <laughs> He's gone. I just want to get out one of the big rods and put a live fish on there and toss it over there. Seems like whenever I do that, you know, nothing wants to eat it except at night. That's why I get the big catfish. We'll have to try another night fishing thing again. Gets a little nippy at night. Well, it's been warm the last couple days, only down in the high 50s at night. You see? <laughs> Big bass came around, <laughs> scared off Luke Hills. <laughs> so there definitely was a big bass. He ate that, what was it? 10, 11 inch bluegill. I mean, maybe he was only eight inch one, but still, that's a big bass. That's why they call them bucket now. So yeah. More chum out there. 
still see those big bass swimming around down there. Big swirls in the water, chasing them bluegills. There was a bite. Oh, oh that's a bender. Might be a catfish. Bite or whatever it is. I bet it's a cat. Yep. With the kettle cat. Oh, come on. And he ate the bread ball. Nice little channel cat. That's a good eater size, about 15 inches. Oh, Stefan, I don't want to get hooked. Get out. Spots. All over me. Alright. Good bread balls. Hold still. Hold still. Little cheap hooks always break. I'm sure he'll be fine though. Come or they won't come. Keep coming or they'll stop coming. It's been a pretty good little fishing trip so far. Pretty far trip. Had to walk all three feet and sit down here on my porch. Just put a chicken nugget on it, send it down. Chicken nugget. Get catfish slime off of there. Yeah. Kettle cats. Pretty good eating size kettle cat. Get about six of those and have a pretty good fish fry. Caught enough big bluegills to last for three or four days if you were eating them. There. Some more oyster cracker chum. Smash them up, toss them out. Welcome to Florida, sunny Florida. Went from foggy Florida to sunny Florida. No time at all. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty lucky. Yes. Uh oh. Man, it's nice out today. Where else would you want to live but in Florida? And maybe in the Philippines. I liked it when I was over there. I met a little island princess. I named my boat after Cindy Mae. Sweet and talented. Wow. She'll break a lot of hearts, I'll tell you. I got her now. I'm the captain of the Cindy Mae. Uh -huh. 
<laughs> I bet she hates that. Tell you what, though, the fishing in the Philippines sucked. With a capital S. I mean, they must have ate every fish within 50 miles because the only ones I ever saw were little puffer fish. That's <laughs> the only fish I ever saw. <laughs> of course, when we went out to the uh, skin dive on the marine preserve, they have a nature preserve on a reef head there on a little island. You know, the water was bare, and, and then you, you go in there, and I had a big bag of rice. Me and Cindy Mae had big bags of rice. And put, you know, a few handfuls of rice in there, and them fish come out and eat the rice, and then they'd be gone just that fast. As soon as the rice was gone, fish were gone. Yeah, there were hundreds of them, you know. You just a little pinch of rice and down there, some bread, you know, mash up some bread. They were selling rice. <laughs> Guys on the boat. Or no, they no, they were selling uh, bread. That's right, little loaves of bread for like a dollar. <laughs> that rice worked a lot better, I'll tell you. Fort Pierce, that's it's down there, pretty near what West Palm and Miami, all that. Oh, there's one, there's one. It was like a bluegill. Took a chicken nugget because that's all that was on there. Oh, yeah, that's a big bluegill. Oh, yeah. It's a chicken nugget eating bluegill. And they are taking that deep. 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 Duck. Chicken nuggets. Tree. Corn. Mm. I heard you catch carp with it. You probably catch uh, bluegill with it. Maybe like what sweet corn? Let's try a dough ball this time. Chum in there. <laughs> if you chum, they will come. Believe me. What a fun place to live. <laughs> Pay a little better attention so they don't swallow that hook so deep. Just watch for that line straighten out. It's got all those little curly cues in it from being wrapped around your reel. First thing you'll do, they'll pull that tight, and those little curly cues will start to go straight. That's when you just want to lift up. Don't want to strike it. Because you just rip it right out of their mouth. 
That's the secret to catching panfish. You know, you just, just lift up on the rod. That, that hook's sharp. If you don't believe me, do that to your finger. <laughs> you don't think that'll work. You know, you think you got to set that hook. Just, just lift up on your rod with your finger on the tip of that hook and watch what happens. No, I don't do that. But take my word for it, what will happen. All right, so I got a bread ball. Seems like they really like us chicken nuggets a lot better. I'm gonna put two uh, on there. Really, your favorite channel? Wow. You seen uh, Key West kayak fishing? He's got a pretty good little show going there. He's brave as hell, goes out there and <laughs> catches big old sharks and crap in his kayak. Pretty cool guy. I think what is his name? Steve or something like that. I don't know if I'll ever get down that far. But if I do, I'm sure I'll see him out there fishing on the reef. He'll be fishing in the same areas I like to fish at. I might not go any further than like Marathon Key. slow down for a minute after you catch a couple of them you know, a lot of people go oh they're they're done chewing I'll just keep chumming <laughs> they'll start coming again it's little little tiny tiny pieces of, like the size of a uh, uh, pencil Lead and the pencil, you know, little pieces of it like that you write with, and it breaks off. It's about the size of a good piece of chum, you know. If you can mash it up to where there's just little balls of it, toss it out there. I'll tell you, even one hot dog bun. I haven't even used one hot dog bun yet. I've been chumming like crazy. Put a chicken nugget back on, or maybe I do have a nugget on there. That's on there. That's on there. That's a bread ball. I'm gonna put two hooks back on there. That way we can go back to the fun fishing with two baits, two different baits. got hot quick had to get that that hoodie off man it was hot it's hard to thread this line through this hook way up in the middle I guess
Oh, they're hitting the chum. Chicken nugget on the top, right? Now hopefully we can get down to some saltwater fishing that you'll enjoy, Toby. Everyone else, including me. This keeps me amused, you know. It's almost time to get out of here. Maybe next month will be the time, just after Christmas. I think I missed all the traffic headed down that way. I mean, boat traffic. It starts in November. There's literally hundreds and hundreds of sailboats here where I live. They, they keep them up on the shore there. They're huge boats like these ones behind me. Just keep them up there until the rich people come down and tell them put them back in the water so they can go somewhere. And then they all head off to the Bahamas or down to the Keys or Panama or wherever. It's a pretty cool place here. Got uh, videos you can check out. Shows all the boats, you know, and up close of them as I walk by. and check each one of them out and stop it, you know. Check it out. See anything you like. A couple of them are for sale. Oh, another fish. Just got eight out there. He, he was getting stupid eating that chum. <laughs> Slurp. I swear though, I, I come out here and fish with uh, shiners and everything else. Nothing will touch it, you know. I throw a wounded fish out there and pow! <laughs> Maybe I got to wound those shiners, huh? Lifting it up off the bottom and let it sink back down. Hits the bottom, just lift it up. Now the tide's not moving really fast enough to, you know, sweep it out. It's moving still, don't get me wrong. Get him here with a cane pole. <laughs> Slaughter him. Coming. Watch for that line to twitch. <laughs> I lost count, but I know the, the uh, chicken nuggets are winning. Little <laughs> sky's falling. <laughs> now, you fishermen, you can all go stop at uh, McDonald's and get you uh, one of those 20 piece McNuggets so you can chow on it and have bait too. What a perfect food, you know? Or do like I do, you know, and keep them in the freezer. He says, uh, I think they're either, they're either Tyson or Banquet, one or the other. They might be Banquet. They're good, though. They're chicken nuggets, man. Heat them up. My little convection oven. Some barbecue sauce or some uh, mayonnaise. Miracle Whip. I like Miracle Whip. A little squeezy bottle. 
Squirt. <laughs> Squirt. Like a noise it makes when it, it's like almost empty, you know, you're trying to get that last little squirt out. It's always funny. People look at you like you just cut the cheese and you're like, no, it was a, the bottle. And they're like, yeah, right. You know, and they're all moving away. Cereal. <laughs> mm -hmm. Stanky. <laughs> just are stanky. Slow it down a little bit. Keep coming, they'll keep coming. The tide stops moving completely, you get all these uh, catfish. Usually they're white cats, white bullheads, which I hear are pretty good to eat. I've caught those things, you know, between eight and ten pounds here, fishing with little pieces of bread ball. And I think the biggest channel cat I got was well over ten pounds on the little bread balls. And then fishing with chunked up cut pieces of bluegill I got one that was 25 and then another one that was 30 pounds right here off the dock <laughs> they're in here I bet there's some 40 pound channel cats swimming in here Last fish, he must have squealed me out to all the bluegills. It's like, don't eat the chicken nuggets, don't eat the bread. Put an oyster cracker out there and get them started again. <laughs> They'll forget all about what, what that big bluegill told them about not what to eat. Don't eat the whatever. Stop eating. I think that. Oyster crackers bring out a lot of uh, little tiny things, you know, that the bluegills eat. They start eating those crumbs and they're floating on top of the water and the bluegills come out and tear them apart. Oh yeah, but the, I did the test with the bluegills with garlic, cut bluegills with garlic versus uh, fresh cut bluegills with no garlic. And, uh, man, that, that garlic kicked their butt. <laughs> the 
you know what, the, those bigger ones, well, one of them anyway was caught on fresh garlic out of the jar, where it's got the water in it, you know, I just would take the water, pour it in the baggie with a little couple crushed garlic, garlic cloves, <clears throat> let it set there, you know, overnight or for several hours in the refrigerator. Don't do that, by the way, because it makes your refrigerator smell like garlic bluegill. <laughs> Get some ice and put it in the bucket. <laughs> Don't put it in your cooler either if you plan on using it again. Ever put fish in your cooler that you're going to eat out of. Just don't do it. Tide's just not moving at all. Try to cast up under the dock where they think they're safe. We're so safe up here under the dock. <laughs> yeah, right. Safe my eye. Oyster crackers and some chicken nugget chum. Mix it together, grind it up, get chicken flavor all over those crackers, mmm, grease and everything. Out it goes. Oh, that smells good. I just made that chicken nugget before the, the stream started. I made two chicken nuggets just for this, especially. I'm going to have to make some more to eat for lunch. A little bit of action on the chum. Lots of little baby, I don't know what they are, eating those uh, oyster cracker crumbs out there. Got the whole school of some fry. I don't know what they are. It could be bass or bluegills or mullet fry. I, I don't know. Looks like it's raining right there in the area where I just threw the chum, all these little fish eating the chum. Well, we know how that works. They get bigger and bigger and bigger, right? <laughs> little fish, big fish. Big fish eat little fish. That's the way it is. Heck, being a fish, you like swimming around. Man, this is great. You know, I'm a fish. And I'm swimming around, and then go. <laughs> it's gone. Yeah. Kick back and relax. Tell you too, once that tide stops moving, they usually stop chewing too. That's when you get into the catfish. Sometimes they, they're pretty big. They're down there mopping up all the chum that you're throwing out. It's just laying there on the bottom. Uh oh, there's a bite. Come back. Oh, there's some more on there. Red ball. I'm gonna go with the double nugget. <laughs> double. Let's do. See what a big piece of chicken nugget will do, huh? This piece is about half the size of your thumb. And the barb. Fish on the Barbie. <laughs> Mm. 
right here. We got visibility about eight inches today. Water be dirty. Well, it's stained. I guess it's dirty. St. John's River. One of the only rivers that flows north. A little trivia for you. Look, there's one. Definitely took chicken nugget. Oh, it's a big bluegill. Oh, he's a nugget muncher. Look at that. That's a nice one. They're back. <laughs> Eating chicken nuggets. Who would not want to eat that chicken nugget? Oh, you made me lose my other chicken nugget. It's definitely a good darn bait. Chicken nuggets. Man. It's making me hungry just to bait the hook. I can smell them. I just cooked them. <laughs> just baked them in the oven. Broiled. Broiled them in the oven. Mmm. Whole bag of them for five bucks. Those things last all week. You can eat them like five times, you know. Golly, they're good. What a fun fishing hole. be surprised this uh what you could probably catch in salt water with bread and, and uh, chicken nuggets too when i get down there i'm gonna try it you know try everything piece of bologna a chunk of ham a pepperoni sandwich some skittles Laffy Taffy, <laughs> we'll send it all down there, believe me. I bet you that this fish will eat practically anything that a human will eat. Might surprise you, you know, make you think twice when you go to the bait store. Like, you know, I should just go stop by McDonald's or uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken or, you know, one of those chicken places and get a bucket of chicken. Every time you catch one of those big ones, they all scatter. I would imagine I could probably use a bobber here, but I like to let it sink all the way down, you know. If you use a bobber, it's going to restrict you just to one area of fish, you know. Yeah, I know you can jerk it, pull it, lift it, you know, and all that, but I prefer to, you know, not use the bobber. A slip bobber might be nice. Yeah, boy. Double chicken nuggets. Double noogies. Keep lifting. All those little minnows are just tearing it up back here. They're so tiny, I can't even see them really. All I see is the little ripples from them hitting. You know, the, the, I think it's mostly oyster cracker crumbs because they pretty much stay on top. 
It's a good chum, though. I see the bluegills eating the, the cracker crumbs, too. Mix it up with the fried chicken and the dough balls. Mash it up real good, and out it goes. Chum! Chum, and they will come, chummy. They're chummy on the Pond Stars. <laughs> I used to watch uh, Tennessee Tuxedo. They got chummy on there when I was a little kid. Oh, deep Tennessee. a nice day. Another nice day in paradise. Where else would you want to live? I know the Philippines, right? <laughs> Hawaii. No, Hawaii's too expensive. Oh, my phone is spamming me. I don't want to buy. Lift it up. Let it settle. Up, down. Oh, I just saw them hitting the top of the water. They're back. <laughs> that didn't take too long. Yummy chicken nugger. Noogie. Come on, come on. What's up? Fishing for bluegills. <laughs> yeah, good for them. They get fed. <laughs> they get a free meal and a free ride. They get flying lessons when I throw them back in. It's a win-win-win. <laughs> yeah, they get three things. They get a free meal, free ride, and then a, a free flight. Back to their point of origin. <laughs> I never thought about that. About the uh, return flight. Uh -oh. Somebody ate one of our nuggies. I'm going to have to put another nuggie in. Nuggie. For the big nuggie. Big nuggie, big fish, right? All right. What's that nuggie? What a surprise. Hook inside. <laughs> That's their happy meal surprise. <laughs> Hook inside. <laughs> Hook inside every nugget. One gold Aberdeen hook inside every nugget. 
Sink. Nugget, bigger fish. Oh, you got chum. I got some more chum for him. Almost out of bait here, but light seems to have slowed down anyway. I bet I caught ten of them. Probably caught eight or ten bluegills and a catfish. It's a pretty good fishing pole. On your porch, you go out on your porch and take one of your couch cushions and, oh, it's nice. Eat those Keebler Elves cookies before you come out. Oh, it's a good time. It's a good time. You gotta keep them baking all the time down there in the cabin in the galley. Keebler elves are baking them cookies. That way you can wake up and you're baking cookies and you can, oh, it's nice. That. We got both my nuggets, whatever it was. You're eating that chum again. A couple pieces of nuggets left, and then I'm going to give up. Not because I didn't catch anything, it's because the amount of nuggets. It's time to make some nuggets to eat. So I got two more pieces of nuggets. Every one of those makes me want to eat nuggets. It's early this morning. It's up at 4 o'clock. Waiting for that sun to come up and make this live stream. And then those oysters, uh, oyster crackers. Boom, boom. It's like a nearsighted fish. He set that thing three. Oh, there he finally got it. Maybe he was just tasting it. <laughs> They're big bluegills. Tell you. But there's one. Oh, yeah, big bluegill. Dude, this a monster. Look at that. That's a bluegill. This guy is thick. He is thicker than my hand is thick. Look at my hand up next to that. What a fish. Huh? 
chicken nuggets. You, you ate a chicken nugget. <laughs> How are we going to get this out of here? This nugget's deep, too. Hooray, it's gone. I don't think I got any chicken nuggets. I still got one. I only got one on here. Let's see if we can catch another. One last one. Last tiny little morsel of bait. We definitely scored on the monsters this time. Big river monsters. Lots of them too. These are monster bluegill. One last bait. What will be its fate? <laughs> Lift and drop, lift and drop. They all get spooked too when one of those big ones and you hook it, it swims all through the school of bait, you know, school of bluegills and freaks them out. They all go back up under the main pier. It's a thousand foot pier. You can drive on it. Well, you can't unless you live here. Sorry. Don't expect that you can come out here and drive on the pier unless you know somebody. This is very private. There's a gate up there with security codes, you know. One last nugget. One nuggy. One nuggy. Think something will eat it. And corn. Yeah, that would probably work. So you, yeah, because it's soft. I'll pick some of that up because I'm going to go to the store today and get some sweets. Yeah, canned corn. I bet you that would that work good for chumming too. Take that all, you know, mash it up with, with some crackers and Throw that out there for chum and then put little pieces of the corn on the hooks. So I'm using a uh, Berkeley Fusion saltwater rod and reel, about $29 or $35 at uh, Wally World. Had this thing for probably two years. Yeah. Maybe three years. It's never given me a big problem. I've caught some. Well, when I was kayak fishing in the river down in uh, Palatka. Oh, there's one. Oh, this feels like Kitty Cat. Oh, it's got some weight. Whoa. Take some drag. Yeah, I caught a, uh, a good 30 pound channel cat on this rod and reel. It pulled the kayak all the way to the other side of the river. <laughs> Here we go. Still haven't seen it. Whoa. What have we got? Oh, that's big catfish. <laughs> Saw a glimpse of his tail on top of the water. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's a big white cat. Hmm. 
I can get this guy with it. I have to use the pliers to try to grab him. Probably break the hook or snap the line. My last piece of bait too. <laughs> Right in the top of your mouth. Five six pounder. Look at the mouth on that thing. I can stick my fist in there. Like, ah, Kermit. <laughs> I know they like to eat frogs. <laughs> it's like, Kermit. So, this is a, a white bullhead, what they're called. State records 18 pounds on these bad boys. Probably world record, too. But that'd be the last fish of this stream. Plunk. Hope everybody enjoys watching it, especially in the reruns. Thanks to Toby for all your contributions. You're awesome, dude. And I'm going to end this stream now. Let's see.